peace be to you dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today we celebrate the tree the feast of transfiguration of Jesus Jesus after some days hearing the confession of Saint Peter that you were the Messiah the son of the living God he took the three Peter James and John his brother to a mountain around two to three kilometers from Nazareth and around thousand feet height from the plain and there he transfigured himself. St. Peter a week before confessed and Jesus himself said to him it is not due to some human knowledge that you have expressed this faith but it is because of my father his father has given the darshan to saint peter to express the faith about him now again these three they are there in the mount tabor these three were the special people they witnessed when Jesus raised the daughter of synagogue and these three were there and when Jesus was in Gethsemane he took these three in a special place so these three were the special people Peter James and John so they witnessed and present in the very important times of Jesus so when they were there the word of God says his face was like sun shining and his garment was like a light so and after some time they could see Elijah and Moses appeared to him and speaking and having dialogue with him and then a cloud came and from the cloud they heard the voice that he is the beloved son this was the words that they have they had already heard at the time of baptism so they had a darshan they have seen the father and Peter with the exclamation says can we arrange three shelters here one for you and one for Elijah and other for Moses so that we all can be together in this ecstasy he doesn't know that they do not need all this shelter these people Moses and Elijah Moses the law writer symbolizing Matthew 5 17 we read I did not come to abolish the law but to perfect it here is there Moses to witness that Jesus is here to perfect the law and Elijah is here again to confirm the all the prophecies given in the history about Jesus Christ have been 
fulfilled now. These three had a great joy, a great expression. The transfiguration of Jesus confirms us the faith of the disciples that they had on Jesus Christ. The second one, it approves the words of St. Peter that you were the Christ, the Son of the Living God. And again, this, this feast confirms us our faith, our faith in Jesus Christ that He is the Son of God. The joy of the great saints were inexpressible. They have understood this meaning when they have seen the Lord after the resurrection. That means to see and have darshan of Mount Tabor and to have this great joy of Mount Tabor to be always with Jesus Christ, one has to go through Mount Calvary. Mount Calvary is a place where Jesus was nailed, symbolizing that the sins of the whole world is nailed. All the sins of the human persons are nailed at Mount Calvary with Jesus. It is a great glory when we kneel down and pray over there, we will know the meaning of the resurrected Christ and joy of the resurrected Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Help us to go through the times of Mount Calvary so that we may enjoy the joy of Mount Tabor. Many a time we forget that we have to undergo the trials of Mount Calvary to nail all our sins and to stand joyfully in front of the empty tomb, Lord. Give us the grace to kneel in front of the crucifix and nail all of our sins and see your great darshan. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.